Okay, uh, we are going to calculate the uh, displacement of a hydraulic pump. Uh, many times uh, we see in a hydraulic schematic, uh, we see a pump and a valve and a cylinder or whatever that is. And on the side of this uh, nearby the pump, uh, many times we see the GPM, the RPM and the pressure of operation of the pump. Um, now, it'll give you what, what the pump is delivering, but it's, it doesn't give you the displacement of the pump. What's the size? So how big of a pump do you need uh, to get those uh, 10 GPM, right? Uh, in this case, uh, we have a, um, a fixed displacement pump. And so uh, the formula uh, for this one is uh, GPM equals RPMs times uh, the displacement uh, divided by um, the 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 rpm uh, so in this case uh, we're gonna have uh, we see let's see over here we're gonna have uh, 10 gpm times uh, 231 uh, divided by uh, the rpm the rpm is uh, 1800 over here and that will give you the displacement uh, what that number come out to be i don't know i have to uh, punch in the numbers and find out. Uh, so I'll go and say 10 times 231 equals divide by 1800 and it gives you a displacement of 1.2833 and that is in cubic inch per revolution. So now uh, we have to go and select a pump uh, for this application. Now you have the size of it uh, and we are going to select the pump. So we're going to come out and we're going to say we have this catalog over here, uh, this data sheet on uh, on vein pumps, uh, this uh, uh, fixed displacement pump and on the vein style pump uh, we see right away over here we see these numbers. These numbers over here it gives you the pump size on GPM, but it gives you the pump size on GPM based on 12 RPM. So you have to be careful. You have to be careful not to say, oh, I need a 10 GPM pump. And you're going to go and say, oh, I'm going to pick up a 10 GPM pump. And then you find out that you're not running uh, 1200 RPM. You're running 1800 RPM. So you, you have to watch for that. So we go to the next step over here on, on this line and we see the displacement of the pump. That's the, that's the number we should we should take a look at it. What is the actual displacement of the pump to run the RPMs that you want? So the number that we are looking for, uh, what was that number? That number was 1.28 cubic inches, 1.28 cubic inches. So we take a look at it, 1.28, this is a 1.19, it's a little bit smaller. Uh, to the uh, to the displacement. If I want something a little bit smaller, I could pick that one. But I don't necessarily want something smaller. I want something may maybe a little bit bigger. So this one over here is a 1.39 uh, cubic inches. So this one, I, I would be more interested in this pump over here uh, than on this one over here. Um, also, uh, looking at the RPM, the RPM of these pumps are okay. Uh, this go 3,000. Uh, 2800. I'm only working on 1800 RPM, so those are okay. Uh, the pressure this is uh, uh, 2200 and this is 2000 psi. So the the pressure is uh, is a little bit tight on the, on the bigger one. It's a little bit tight because uh, I'm working at 2000. This is good for 2000, but I want some breathing space, you know, and I don't want a smaller pump. So the next option that I have is, is go jump from the from the V10 series to the V20 series. It's a bigger frame pump. It's a little bit bigger unit. Uh, it costs a little bit more money. Not much, but it costs a little bit more money. And and so, because given the, the technical requirements, however, I want to go with a pump that is going to give me the flow and it's going to give me the pressure. If I want to do that, I will go with the next series. And so I have this one over here that is 1.39 uh, cubic inches. This may work. 1.39 is bigger than what I'm looking for. And uh, the pressure, it gives me 2,500 PSI. 
you know so this pump over here i would say this one is the one i want picking uh, because it has the displacement and it has the pressure rating that i'm looking for and it has the rpm that i'm looking for now because it's a it's um it's a fixed displacement pump uh, it's going to give me always a little bit higher or always a little bit lower. In this case, I want to go in a little bit higher range of, of the flow. The next step that I have, the next thing that I need to do over here is check out the pressure curves. Is it is an, is a good to check the, the pressure cur curves on the pump to find out exactly what you're going to be looking at to see if this is, this is good enough. Now, keep in mind over here, this is a 7 GPM based on the 1200 RPM. I'm looking at a 10. So I'm going to look at the pressure curve and I'm going to look for the, for the curve, the, the, um, that is pointing to the to the 7 GPM uh, because that's, that's how they display it over here. You know, it's displayed by 7 uh, GPM, even though that you're going to have a higher RPM and it's going to deliver 10 GPM or, or higher. So let, let's check out what the curve is going to be. So I'm going on the bottom, I go on the bottom and see, and let's see where we're coming from over here. Uh, we have a V20, okay, this is the size. Mm, let's look at this then. Go a little bit, this is the V10. Over here, we come to the V20 size to the frame, and then we're gonna be looking for the 7 GPM. The 7 GPM over here is this curve over here, these three lines over here. And so, if you look at the displacement, the, the RPM, this is 12 RPM, this is 1600, this is 2000, this is 1800 RPM that I'm looking at over here. So, 1800 RPM, I go up to see on how that intersect to the curve and you have three lines. One is at 2,500 PSI, the other one is 1,000 PSI, and the last one is 100 PSI. So at 2,500 PSI, the 1,800 uh, RPM intersects uh, just below the 10 GPM mark. This is, this is 10 GPM over here, and uh, at 2,500 it intersects below. Now I am not working at 2500, I'm working at 2000 PSI. So 2000 PSI is going to be higher, it's going to be maybe 10 GPM, maybe a little bit more than 10 GPM. But it, it does not show in that curve, it's, it does not show where the 2000 is going to be, it only shows the, the 1000. You know, the 1000, if I go to, if I would operate at 1000 PSI, it would be just a slightly, let me see, where's the curve again? This is 1200. It'll be a slightly higher than, than 10 GPM. It'll be higher than 10 GPM if I operate at 1000 PSI. So I just want to check. I think this pump is going to be okay, but I want to check. Maybe, maybe I want to go to a higher one, you know? Um, let's see over here. Uh, we had, according to this chart, we have, uh, where is it? According to this chart, we had a, a 7 GPM, we had an 8 GPM and a 9 GPM. You know, so I can keep going on, on the next chart to see how the 8 will look like in relation to the 7. So I go back to the charts over here, and this is 10, and this is 20, and this is the 7 over here. Uh, this is a seven, this is a nine. And over here, over here, I have the eight. Over here, I have the eight. And I see the three curves that come on the, on the eight. And then I go to 1600 RPM. And then I go up to the 1600 and I go on the first curve. On the first curve, it's operated at 2500 PSI. On the first curve already, I have what is this? I have over, I have a little bit less than 11 GPM, a little bit less than 11 GPM on this one. So uh, at 2000, at 1000, I would have a little below 12, uh, uh, below 12, maybe, maybe 11, 11.5, maybe 11.5, maybe 11.7 in here. So I, I have the, the choice over here that I can select either a, a seven or eight car kit, 
on on this palm to operate at 12 uh, at 11, uh, 1800 rpm and, then, and i'm gonna go either to the 10 gpm exactly if i go to the to the seven car kit or if i choose the a car kit i will have maybe maybe a gallon maybe a gallon 0.75 more of, of flow on the system so that that is a matter of uh, of uh, engineering on, on what you want to do do you want to have 10 exactly or do you want to give yourself a little bit more room you know if there's no problem on the application on, on what you're going to have for the gpm you can go a little bit higher you know you can go a little bit higher or you can stick with it with the 10 gpm that you have so either one of those pumps will work you know, it, it just depends on the application, which one you want to get. I, I, I could uh, get the, the A car kit. You know, price wise, it doesn't cost any any difference. Uh, you already have the 20, uh, the V20 frame. So ch changing the car kit is, is not a big deal. It's just the same price. So I would go with a little bit higher flow, but 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 that that depends on the application, you know. Now this is a fixed displacement pump. If we would have a, a a variable displacement pump, we can go and pick the bigger displacement and dial it down to the very exact flow that you want. But because this is a fixed displacement pump, we have to go either a little bit lower or a little bit higher. You know, it depends on on how you. On, on what the requirements of the systems are so anyway guys that's how you select a, a a fixed displacement pump and that's how you calculate the displacement and that's how it works so that's the video for today so how do you calculate the displacement of, of the pump to give you the flow given the rpm and given the pressure of operation so with that uh i'm all good <laughs> and i uh, will see you guys in the next video bye bye